John Beckman here with Brad Soner. Day number two, stage number three of the 2013 Nature Valley Grand Prix, the Cannon Falls Road Race. 93 miles for the women, 93 miles for the men. And Brad, that 93 mile distance still did not break up the women's race. Yeah, the women's race, a few riders trying to get away into a breakaway, but nothing able to stick all day long. It came down to a bunch sprint to the line with a great group of sprinters in the women's field. It was the yellow jersey, Jade Wilkinson, taking the sprint out of the field. You know, I really owed it to my team to come across the line first because they worked so hard for me all day long. 92 and a half miles, it was all them, and for me to be able to, to close it was makes me feel good, makes the team feel good. And with the distance failing to break up the pack, it could come down to time bonuses for the yellow jersey. Criterium going to be very important as there will be several time bonuses available heading into tomorrow's stage as most of the riders looking forward to those bonuses. Tomorrow there's a lot of time up for grabs so you know they have to be aggressive to either take time away or you know there's a lot of cards they can play so it's really hard to predict what's going to happen. And so Jade Wilcoxon stays in yellow as she wins the sprint today proving that she really deserves that jersey. Now in the men's race, 93 miles as well, a little bit of wind out there but riders told me that rider aggression really made this race. Things broke up and the yellow jersey was left behind. Yeah, major separation as Sergei Vetkov finding himself on the wrong side of that move. The yellow jersey not in the select group that came onto the circuits together so there was a major shakeup set up in the race. In the end, it was Jelly Belly Kenda's Sean Mazik who got into a late race solo breakaway off the front that held off the field just before the line in a great sprint. He was able to take the stage win today. We, when we saw he wasn't there, we were like, okay, well, we still have four guys here. And then we have three guys going into the circuit. And it just kind of, you know, we were like, all right, well, we got to get the stage win at least. So that's what we went for. It was pretty chaotic because there was so much going on. And Without race radios, it really makes it dynamic. So you have to go back to the car, and you have to go back to the field, let your riders know what's going on. And that's the way it should be, you know, because racing is racing. So Mike Friedman earns the XL Energy Sprint jersey and the Nature Valley overall leader's jersey going into tomorrow's Uptown Minneapolis Criterium.